Hi guys, welcome to the video. Things have changed at Arclex, right? So, did anything change regarding to the building? Not really. We just can't build that many ISOs, that's all. So, if you want to build ISOs, rebuild ISOs, change ISOs, then I suggest you start reading here, which is not that much. <laughs> then you go for installation, have a look there. We still need to make the videos, we're making them right now, but here is already an intro of the normal um, ISOs that we deliver you, but you can rebuild these guys. So then you do this menu, which is build your own ISO. And yes, we need to add three builds basically, right? Or more, I mean, there is still, all this is still relevant. It's just three choices rather than 45 choices. That's all. So where do we find our GitHubs? That's something different. I've put the desktop, well, the new project close, but not, well, it's a new URL. Arco Pro Net, Arco Net Pro, <laughs> just the way around. I think I've given the name like that. Arco Net Pro is where it is. So this is only what I need to build three ISOs, which is not that much. ISO, 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 and then a Calamaris, a Calamaris, and another Calamaris. A config for XFCE, for wallpapers, for variety. That's it. With those packages, we've got ourselves three new ISOs. What we're gonna need, let's start with Arconet. I'll make the three videos, right? That is a strange look indeed. That's better. And then you grab the code. So you say, okay, let's see if we can build the code. And we go to the desktop, there's always a good place to start if there is not a lot of things already there. Bye. And then we are going to git clone things. Git clone control shift v that's that and then it's the same thing as usual of all the other ISOs of the last six years there is an installation script 30 is clean the cache 40 is keep the cache and don't download so much so basically if you type sudo pacman minus suv remember the car the suvs oops that's something else <laughs> It's SUV. Then you see, ah, look at that. There is basically the files that it all needs, and this is the cache directory. An interesting little fact. We can add Chaotix repo to the mix, so there are like 5,000 packages there, and they probably will grow every day. And um, you can add your own personal repo into the equation. It's all explained on the video here. But basically you just grab the code and the very basic intervention is going to packages x86-64. This is your own repo, personal repo, if you are that far ahead, right? And then you go through the list. This is not nice. So take an editor, take some syntax, some coloring, so that you know that all the gray stuff is not used, is not installed. This is Arch Linux saying this is what we want on the Arch Linux ISO. ArchLinux.org, right? We use the application Arch ISO to build the ISO plus more, but also minus less. So that we have made some decisions down the road, say we don't want this, we don't want that. We do want this, we do want that, right? So this is their bit. And then we need drivers, NVIDIA DKMS, sound, network capabilities, etc. We need Firefox. And here becomes interesting, starting from software from Arch Linux repositories. Here it becomes interesting. I'd like to have Chromium on my machine. Boom. Chromium will be on the ISO, Chromium will be on your computer. Control S save it and you go down the list and yes you need to know a little bit the naming and what it all does i'd like to have melt i like to have simple screen recorder i like to have vlc 
and I don't like variety if I don't uh, activate it and on it goes and on it goes all kind of applications that you either decide not to have or to have and as long as if you can do it with pseudo pacman minus s as long as you can get the application like this you can add it here in the list line per line not after each other one package per line and you have a look right you decide what you put on here you hate paru okay fine right no problem just go for a hashtag in front of it Control s Control find paru and of course that's the configuration then the application needs to go out as well Control s and off you go looking for more things to get rid of or add okay and then you just build then you show one level up installation scripts number 40 and off you go it's building your iso what's important that you have the correct arch iso version although it will work probably with 77 or 78 etc but this is important do you have the right arch iso version so this basically tells you that the code that is online is working with a particular version of arch iso and is checked by us if it's not changed then we haven't seen the update or we didn't change it or we're still building it figuring out what to do with certain updates okay for the rest it's just sit back and enjoy you see where the build folder is you see where the output folder is and for the rest you sit back there are many messages in here that you can just discard just like us and he's going to make a list of all the things he wanna wants to install download everything you see all the versions in here and yes there will be an Arch Linux key ring in there and Arch Linux key rings and Celtic key rings etc etc reborn OS key rings all because we have the Arch Linux tweet tool we can shop around so that means we can have all kind of packages from all kind of sources basically all right so we have not installed at this particular moment in time anything from Celtics but Celtics repo is true personal repo is true so if you put anything in here that is coming from the Celtics repo it would just be installed like any other package right if it's um, your personal repo then you have to watch a little bit more videos but basically change this into your URL right that's all and of course put your package in the list those are all the stuff okay there you go um, for the rest you just keep track of things eh? and scroll through and, and check the messages so you don't get um, alarmed this is a warning that maybe you are alarmed you shouldn't be but just scroll on and learn what messages we see what is normal and of course if it stops then it's not normal then um, well you can contact us and show us an image say control shift print screen that's where it goes wrong this is flame shot that's my problem this is the best way to communicate with us images not say something went wrong doesn't help okay let's wait for the ISO to pop out and then we continue all right the ISO is out so check oh yeah if there is an error and there will be errors right because packages can conflict it's all about humans making lines in a package build that will conflict and Pacman will say uh what now right and everything stops everything halts and then you won't get any result so you scroll up you look at the very first error you get and that's the screenshot you give us right or you figure it out yourself so okay this needs to go out and that needs to go in done right so things like that 
So where is the ISO? Home, Eric, Arconet, Arconet, and then a date, a number. So 2024, it's the a release for the May month, and we are at the fourth iteration. And then some checksums that we deliver you. So you go to here, Arconet out, that's the one we've built together. If you go like this, you can see the timing is about right three minutes ago. So that's it. The ISO is built. That means VirtualBox, VMware, QMU, whatever you like. Test it out in Virtual Machine. That's the first thing I would do. See if indeed things that you've added, and you can actually see that already here, things that you've added to the list are on there, that you have removed are not on there. I think we got rid of variety, not variety. What did we do? remove again? Something that we said we don't want that. I don't recall, was my apologies. Now, maybe talking about variety, I don't know if we've removed it or not, but always remember Linux works with dependencies. If there is a somewhere a package where a user, a maintainer of a package build says, I want this as a dependency, it will be installed, right? Unless you remove the package, of course. So that's always a thing. Remember the word dependencies, look it up, what it means. Because yes, then uh, it will be overruled anyway. So how many packages are we having here? 1,200, but don't stare on this particular number because Calamaris is going to be removed with all its dependencies and those dependencies of those packages. So less packages in number, right? Okay, that's it for me. That's the first video, how to build your own Arco net. By the by, in the meantime, I've given this some thought and this is the welcome text that we give you. And yes, ArcoNet, ArcoPro and ArcoPlasma. Cheers.